word of the day is stonefly, I think. Hey everybody, this is uh, Phil Torella here with Angler's Covey. Um, here to talk about January Bug of the Month. And it is January, so it's still winter, but uh, I want to wish everyone a happy new year and another great year on the water. Uh, while we're out here on the river today, uh, talking about Bug of the Month, you, you might think that we're going to be talking about midges. It's winter, it's cold. Uh, midges are certainly, you know, kind of the kind of the norm this time of year, but our bug of the month this year is actually gonna be winter stoneflies. Um, it's a bug that is commonly forgot about this time of year. You know, everyone gets so focused in on midges that they forget about some of the other food sources moving around in the water as well. So, uh, you know, these little winter stoneflies, they tend to, similar to midges in that they're small, but not quite as small as your 22s or 26s, but a lot of times these winter stoneflies size 14, 16, 18, uh, you know, great patterns such as just really even a pheasant tail, a black colored pheasant tail, uh, dark colored copper johns, anything kind of dark brown or black in general. Um, so when talking about winter stoneflies, you know, they're, they're gonna be in a majority of our rivers here on the front range, uh, close to Colorado Springs, Denver, uh, wherever you might be heading out to. Uh, while a lot of our rivers may not have, you know, golden stone flies or salmon flies here or there, uh, the majority of these rivers are going to have uh, these smaller winter stone flies. You typically are not going to see, you know, big clouds like you might, or big clouds of hatches as you might with midges or, or other bugs throughout the year. You might just notice something a little bit smaller and darker or a little bigger than a midge, and you might see it just kind of sitting there or bouncing on the water a little bit. A lot of times that's going to be your winter stone. You know, they are active um, just, just as midges are, especially you get these warmer, sunnier days uh, during the winter months can really get them active. Um, and the fish will key on these as well, not only because their diet is so focused on midges throughout the winter, but you know, this presents a bigger food source for them. Uh, you know, a size 14 or a 16 or even an 18 uh, provides a lot more calories and nutrition for these fish than say, you know, a size 26 midge. So it's a little bit more bang for your buck. Uh, just as with any type of winter fishing, um, you know, water is going to be really low and really clear uh, on most of our fisheries here. So make sure that we're getting good drag free drifts, um, you know, when you're nymphing. Uh, just because it's a stone fly doesn't mean that they're going to be, you know, swimming super fast or anything like that. So you can get some fish to eat on the swing, but that good dead drift uh, is, is really where you want to kind of stick with it as far as your tactics go. You know, getting getting your flies down towards the bottom, adding enough weight to your nymph rig is really important. Uh, during the winter months, as the water is nice and cold and, and clear, uh, these fish are going to be kind of hanging right towards the bottom of the of the river, uh, expending as little energy as possible. Uh, they're kind of just waiting for those little food sources to drift right into them. And on that note as well, because they're so lethargic and, and slow moving during the winter, you want to set that hook when you're nymphing on, on just about any little bump or hesitation as, as takes can be very, very subtle. Just taking advantage of, of any bump or hesitation or anything that looks like it could be a fish, making sure you set that hook. Uh, when it comes to you know the rigging as well, if you're just doing your regular indicator type nymphing, nothing special to it, you know, 12 to 14 inches below your weight, uh, you know, and then you can add some droppers as well, you know. So, you know, that's kind of a wrap on our winter stones here. Um, again, just a just a great pattern to use during the winter. Again, it's a bigger food source. You can trail a midge behind it. You can use these flies both with your indicator nymph rigs or your Euro nymph rigs. Uh, make sure get them still down close to the bottom. But yeah, all in all, just, a, just another good option. You know, if you're having a tough day out there, maybe you can't figure out what midge or this or that that the fish are, are feeding on, give a winter stonefly a try. Um, again, you know, dark copper johns, dark or, or black pheasant tails, great patterns. Yeah, so and that's that's about it for our winter stones here, guys. So please be sure to join us next month, uh, February, for our bug of the month, which some folks might consider it a bug, others will just consider it a nymph, but we're gonna talk about eggs. 
So whether you tie it to the hook or you know, you're one of those people that wants to have it a little bit above the hook on your line, no judgment. And yeah, guys, if you have any questions at all, uh, please give us a call, come into the shop. We're happy to help and, and be as best assistance as we possibly can. So thanks so much and you all have a, have a great year on the water.